when we expand and simplify double brackets, we multiply both the terms in the first bracket by both the terms in the second bracket. Here we've got x plus 4 times x minus 3. So we multiply x by both the terms in the second bracket, and we multiply 4 by both the terms in the second bracket. So we've got x times x, which is x squared, x times a negative 3, which is negative 3x. Then we've got 4 times x, which is 4x. And we've got a positive 4 times a negative 3. Positive times negative is negative, And 4 threes are 12. And we can simplify by collecting like terms. So we've only got one x squared term, one number by itself, but we've got two x terms. So we can simplify them. So we leave x squared. For my x terms, I've got negative 3x plus 4x. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So I've got 1x, which I just write as x. And I've got minus 12 on the end. So that's the answer. x squared plus x minus 12. When we've got thirds inside the brackets, we follow the exact same process. Here we've got root 2 plus 4 times root 2 minus 3. So we multiply root 2 by both the terms in the second bracket, and 4 we multiply by both the terms in the second bracket as well. So we do root 2 times root 2 first. Root 2 squared is just 2. So we could write root 2, root 2 times root 2 is root 4, but whenever you've got a third multiplied by itself, like root 2 times root 2, root 2 times root 2 is just 2. Root 3 times root 3 is just 3. Root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So root 2 times root 2 is 2. Then we've got root 2 times a negative 3, and it's the same as x times negative 3. With x times negative 3, we just write negative 3x, which means negative 3 times x. So root 2 times negative 3 is negative 3 root 2, which means negative 3 times root 2. And then 4 times root 2, again the same as 4 times x. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2. And 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now we're collecting the like terms. We've got two root 2 terms, but this time we've also got two numbers by themselves, which we can simplify as well. So if we start with the roots, I've got negative 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. So I've got 1 root 2, which I just write as root 2. And for the numbers, I've got positive 2. Take away 12. 2 take away 12 is negative 10. So I've got root 2 take away 10. And that's the answer. So a question for you to try here. Pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready to carry on. Okay, so I'm going to do 3. Well, I've got 3 plus root 5 times 2 plus root 5. So I'm going to multiply 3 by both the terms in the second bracket. Then I'll multiply root 5 by both the terms in the second bracket. So I've got 3 times 2, which is 6. 3 times root 5, which I just write as 3 root 5. Root 5 times 2, which is 2 root 5. So 2 times root 5 is just 2 root 5. 
and I've got root 5 times root 5, which I can I could write as root 25, but again, when you square a third, root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So collect like terms, I've got 2 root 5 terms, and I've got 2 numbers I can add together. So if I do the root 5s first, 3 root 5s plus 2 root 5s, 3 of something plus 2 of something is 5, so 5 root 5s. And I've got 6 plus 5, which is 11, it's positive 11, so I've got 5 root 5s plus 11, and that's the answer. Okay, another example. This time I've got 4 minus root 5 squared. So when something's squared, that means it's multiplied by itself. So what this means is 4 minus root 5 multiplied by itself, so times 4 minus root 5. And we follow the same steps. So we're going to do 4 multiplied by both the terms in the second bracket, and then negative root 5 multiplied by both terms in the second bracket. So we'll start with 4 times 4, which is 16. Then I've got 4 times negative root 5. A positive times a negative is a negative. 4 times root 5 is just 4 root 5. Then I've got negative root 5 times 4, again. So a negative times a positive is a negative, and 4 times root 5 is 4 root 5. And finally, negative root 5 times negative root 5. A negative times a negative is a positive, and root 5 times root 5 is 5. So then collecting the like terms, we've got two ordinary numbers, two numbers that can go together, and two root 5 terms. So I'm going to do the numbers first, because they're going to be positive. So 16 plus 5 is 21. And then I've got a negative 4 root 5, take away another 4 root 5. Negative 4 take away 4 is negative 8. So I've got minus 8 root 5. 21 minus 8 root 5. Okay, a question for you to try again. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answer. So we've got root 2 plus 1 squared. So again, that means root 2 plus 1 times root 2 plus 1. And we're going to do root 2 times both the terms in the second bracket, and we're going to do 1 times both the terms in the second bracket. So root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times 1 is 1 root 2, or we can just write root 2. 1 times root 2, again, is just root 2, and 1 1 is 1. So simplifying, we've got two root 2 terms and two numbers we can add together. It doesn't matter which way around we do it. So if I add my root 2s first, 1 root 2 plus another root 2 is 2 root 2s and 2 plus 1 is 3. One more example here. This time we've got letters but we're going to follow the same process. So we've got root a plus root b times root a minus root b. And I'll go through all the steps. So we're going to do root a times both the terms in the second bracket and root b times both the terms in the second bracket. So root a times root a is just a root a times, well, positive times a negative here, it's going to be negative, and root a times root b, when we've got two thirds and we multiply them together, 
we multiply what's in the third. So if I had root two times root three, that'll be root two times three, which is root six. If I had root five times root seven, that'll be root 35, because five times seven is 35. So root five times root seven is root 35. So root A times root B is root A B. And multiply root B by both the terms in the second bracket. So root B times root A. So they're both positive. And root B times root A is root A B again. So you could have written root B A, but A times B is the same as B times A. So it's better just to write the letters in alphabetical order. And finally, we've got root B, positive root B times negative root B. So that's going to be a negative, a positive times a negative is a negative. And root B times root B is just B. So let's simplify this. So we've got two root AB terms that we can simplify. And we've got a negative root AB plus root AB. And that's going to be nothing. If I had negative 3 plus 3, that would be nothing. If I had negative 5 plus 5, that would be nothing. So these are going to cancel out. They add up to 0. So I'm just going to be left with A minus B. And that is the answer. Okay, question for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go, and press play when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we've got root A plus B all squared, which means root A plus B times root A plus B. So we're going to do root A times both the terms in the second bracket, and then B times both the terms in the second bracket. So let's start with root A times root A, which is A root a times b so root a times b is b root a so in the same way that root a times 5 would be 5 root a root a times b is b root a it just means them times together so b root a just means b times root a and then we've got b times root a which again we write as b root a, and then we've got b times b, which is b squared. So what can we simplify? We've got two b root a terms. So I've got a, I'll leave the a at the front. I've got b root a plus another b root a. So one of something plus another one of it makes two of them. So I've got two b root a's and I've got a b squared as well so that's as simple as it gets and that is the answer okay to finish up three questions give them a go and press play when you're ready for the answers okay so root 3 minus 6 times root 3 minus 4 root 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3 times a negative 4 positive times a negative is a negative and 4 times root 3 is just 4 root 3 negative 6 times root 3 again a negative times a positive is a negative 6 times root 3 is 6 root 3 and negative 6 times negative 4 a negative times a negative is a positive. Six fours are 24. So simplifying, collecting the like terms. If I do the numbers first, and then the root three terms. So three plus 24 is 27. 
a negative 4 root 3, take away 6 root 3. So negative 4 take away 6 is negative 10. So I've got 27 minus 10 root 3s. Question 2. Expand and simplify. So 4 minus root 5 all squared. So I've got 4 minus root 5 multiplied by 4 minus root 5. And start with 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Positive 4 times negative root 5. So it's going to be negative. Positive times a negative is a negative. 4 times root 5 is just 4 root 5. Negative root 5 times 4. Again, negative. And 4 times root 5 is 4 root 5. And then negative root 5 multiplied by negative root 5. And negative times a negative is a positive. And root 5 times root 5 is 5. So let's collect the like terms. 16 plus 5 is 21. And negative 4 root 5 take away 4 root 5. Negative 4 take away 4 is negative 8. So I've got 21 take away 8 root 5s. And finally, we've got 2 root 2 plus 1 multiplied by root 2 plus 3. So we've got 2 root 2 times 2. So it's 2 times root 2. Let's note this down. 2 times root 2 times root 2. Well, root 2 times root 2 is 2. And I've got 2 times 2. That just makes 4. So I'm going to write 4. I've got 2 root 2 times 3. 3 times 2 root 2s. 3 2s are 6. So I've got 6 root 2s. So in the same way, if I had 3 times 2x, I'd have 6x. If I've got 3 times 2 root 2s, I've got 6 root 2s. Now 1 times root 2 is just root 2. And 1 3 is 3. So collect the like terms. 6 root 2s plus another root 2 is 7 root 2s. And 4 plus 3 is 7. So I've got 7 root 2s plus 7 or 7 plus 7 root 2s, doesn't matter which way round they are, and that is the answer. One more thing, so if we grab a calculator, so because these terms, they're just numbers, we could type these in the calculator. So for question one, if I type in the calculator, exactly how it looks, so root 3 minus 6 times root 3 minus 4, the calculator will expand and simplify for us. So it's the same for the second one, 4 minus root 5 squared. And again, the calculator will do this for us. So if you've got a calculator, when you're asked to do this, you can just type it in the calculator and the calculator will tell you the answer.